Palladian Star Seeds. Mind the adjustments there. Welcome to your reading. I hope everyone's doing wonderful. So this is going to be a Palladian Star Seed reading for the month of February. Let's get into it and pull some cards for you guys, shall we? We shall. Lots of crazy energy in for the month of February. So just know that <laughs> this is normal. So just know that this is normal. So let's get into this and just, let's just see where we're at here, what we're going into, what we're doing. We do have the full moon. Um, this is being filmed on the 7th, so we do have the film, full moon tomorrow and Sunday, so the 8th and the 9th. It's a big one. It's like actually the biggest one of the year, so. Okay, so there's a common theme for a lot of the star seeds this coming month. So this coming month, there's a lot of common themes. Um, there's a lot of creativity being sparked, a lot of different ideas, a lot of different ways of going about expressing your unique self-expression. There's huge different waves of shifts coming in, energies coming in. We have solar winds, we have full moons, we have crazy shifts taking place, a lot of um, interesting information being downloaded, a lot having to do with the rainbow light activations, like I've been saying, but it's so funny because I've been watching other starseed videos and they've been feeling the same things and being told the rainbow light activations are coming in. It's like all this stuff. And if you follow me on Instagram, it's at KimberKiss33. Um, I do talk about how I did make a rainbow activation for you guys, so if you guys wanna check that out, it would be very beneficial to help assist with these energies coming in. And I knew, I knew they were coming in because I received a light code. Let me see if I can find it. Excuse the mess in the background. Um, I just recently found all my art stuff and it was really exciting. <laughs> and it's kind of everywhere right now because I've been going through some of my old art. And <clears throat> Here's one of them that um, I drew having to do similarly with the rainbow light activation. It looks very similar to that, which is quite interesting, but that's not the one. The one that I'm talking about is blue. You do. Here's um, a really awesome. Here's a really awesome activation. This is the rainbow spiral that I'm referring to. I keep seeing. Um, it's not the exact one that I wanted. To, oh, and then actual rainbow. <laughs> this is the aqua ray light activation that I believe was downloaded from the Arcturians and the Syrian and the Syrian light beings. So this is that activation. It's very intense. It's going to help assist with the energies coming in. And I feel like if you look to the Arcturian lineages right now, the Syrian lineages, and ask for them to assist you, they will. Um, I know like lots of lineages get along with the Pleiadians. I mean, I feel like everyone gets along with the Pleiadians. I feel like they're all connected. So they all get along with one another and they're here to help assist with the whole unity consciousness. So now it's getting too dark and I have to turn on a light. This looks a little crazy. So bear with me, but I had to turn on a light because it's the clouds are going behind the sun. The sun is setting. The clouds are going behind the sun. What am I saying? Maybe that's symbolic or something. We have four of summer to start off with. Four of summer, and this says being distracted and failing to see a magical opportunity. I feel like a lot of us are so focused on our like day in and day out things and stuff that we have to get on, get done. And spirit is really wanting you to check in with your beings of light. This has been a common message, a common theme, but to check in with your beings of light throughout the month and see where you need to realign see where you need to uplift your vibration and to see where you can expand out further when it comes to your creativity. And I feel like there's, 
there's this spark of creativity. There's like this explosion of creativity. And spirit is probably, I mean, you're probably already feeling it if you're a starseed. Um, having to express this creativity into different outlets and different pieces and different ways that you normally wouldn't do so. And so spirit is really encouraging you to do this. Spirit is really encouraging this to just explore, to express, to paint, to draw, to whatever it is, even if it's something that we've never seen or heard of before. They're wanting you to do this because this is helping to open our eyes and this is inspiring others to do the same. And it's really gonna help just your relationship with you and your soul essence and your higher self and your relationship with your like beings because this is the time the time is now and that's a common message that I keep getting Palladians they are wanting you to work with the color blue maybe that's perhaps why they drew were drawing me to show you that aqua this aqua aqua light language coding this is the aqua light ray the aqua ray of light and this is going to help you adjust to these energies coming in this week and throughout the month aqua. Um, you're taking someone or something for granted and you're feeling this discontentment with life some of you um, and I think the only reason this is is because you're not embracing fully on your creative essence your creative authenticity and your creative self-expression so there's a lot more to be expressed and expanded upon and so they're just really asking you to really go for it and express yourself and yeah I think once you do this like you're just gonna be fine this is just the energies that are popping up that need to be reintegrated recleared and reorganized realigned sorry we have the Emperor Emperor, I feel like a lot of star seeds right now feel like they're trying to take on the world, take on the world by storm and just change everything as much as they possibly can. And it's like, look, we, we really need to start banding together more. We really need to start collabor collaborating more. We need to start coming together and helping each other. Um, because the responsibility doesn't just fall on you it falls on each and every single one of us and so that's a message that just was given to me from this card it's telling you to use logic and structure to increase your success so really getting organized really writing things down this will really really help you and they're letting you know that you're also a very firm but you're also a very compassionate leader so stepping up into this leadership role see how she's almost like giving a speech here sitting in your chair, your throne, stepping into this heart chakra and knowing, and, and this knowing that just resides there and understanding like you really have to step into this leadership role. It is calling you to do this now. Like you really need to do this. Especially if you're being guided towards that. Especially if you're being guided towards that and especially if you're Palladian. This is like for you, <laughs> for you guys, the Palladian star seeds. Um, it's telling you to follow your passions when it comes to your career. So again, expressing your creativity. I feel like you guys just have such unique waves, uh, ways, waves and ways of showing your creativity to the world. And they're wanting you to just expand, expand your consciousness, expand your perceptions, expand your imagination, expand, expand the feeling that creativity gives to you. Like when you know you're going to be embarking on something that just brings you so much joy and you're just so excited to share it with the world, they're wanting you to hone in on that frequency that you get here in the solar plexus and perhaps in the sacral as well. And they're wanting you to hone that in and just like, to let it vibrate within you. And then to grow that with inside of you. So to grow that with inside of you so you can expand this throughout your being because when you do this, when you pull in the energies of creativity and expansion in your being, it really helps to show you how infinite you actually are. 
how multidimensional you actually are, and so are your creative aspects and pursuits. And so I don't want you to think of this as, okay, I need to focus on one niche. I need to focus on one thing and create that and express it. Why don't you create and express multiple things? Why don't you create and express things that you've never thought to create before? Why don't you create 10 different things? And really challenge yourself this month because it's not going to be a challenge. It's, it's not... In a sense, even to be called a challenge, it's just the flow. Go with the flow of the universe. However the universe is showing you signs or directing you to express your creativity, like you will just know. And it's different for each and every one of us, but you will just know. And so listen, listen and follow that feeling and hold on to that feeling when they're giving you guidance and they're like, okay, you need, <laughs> you need to do this. And it might not make sense. It might not make sense at the time, but... It will, because when you're in that frequency of being creative and creating things, that is one of the highest frequencies you can be in. And you're sending out your light codes through your art, through through the workings that you do, no matter how it looks, whether it's poetry, whether it's painting, whether it's writing, whether it's um, singing, whether it's dancing, it's like you are putting out insane light codes through the gifts that you have which are here for a reason not to be judged not to be shamed not to be feared upon but to ex be expressed because there are light codes emanating from your being when you express it with this frequency and so they're really wanting you to understand the seriousness of that in a sense that it's not serious but it is because it's it's there for a purpose it's not just to Creativity is so much more powerful and it's used for, for many, many different dimensional levels. It's used for awakenings of star seeds. It's used for awakenings of the people on this planet. It's, it's used for you and the expansion of your awareness. It's, there's so many good things that come from self-expression and creativity. And it's not just you doing a hobby or a passion. There's so much more included in that than I think we really know. Okay, but I, I'm understanding it more and more. But you do have light codes that you are sharing with the world when you express what it is you're being called to express. And if you feel that calling, it's because it already exists. Spirit is just wanting you to line up to that and make it happen. Okay? Okay. It's asking you to be the best at what you do. Don't worry about being different, okay? There, I'm different. Don't worry about it. Be unique. Be goofy. Be weird. Like, just be yourself. Because we all hold our own unique frequency. And it's really important to express yourself during this time. And I really see you being compensated for the beautiful work that you do. I really do because you are the best at what you do. You really are. Everyone is. We all have, like I said, our own set of gifts. And everyone is the best at what they do. It's already done. It's already said. It's just, you're already the best. You're already the best at what you do. And it's just letting you know that because of that, because you have the mind shift and the knowing now to put your, your self-expressions out there into the world, that you will be compensated for these things. Okay, so it's letting you know. And positive changes are on their way to you. Positive changes are coming to you. And it's because you're not afraid to dim your light anymore. You're putting it out into the world. See how they are holding the light? And you're not holding it in. You're not holding it in anymore. You're expressing it out into the world. And you're being compensated for this. And good things are coming because of this high vibration that you're emanating. And a welcome relief from troubled times is coming. Okay, this is your card. It's letting you know a welcome relief from troubled times is coming. And I do see some of you traveling or relocating. Okay, and this isn't just like in your mindset with meditation. I mean, it could be traveling with your light body, experiencing things with your light body, doing different exercises with your light body that I always recommend. But I really see physical traveling. I see physical relocating for a lot of you. And I see that coming this month or the decision to at least go towards that coming this month. 
and then you're gonna put in the action steps to make it happen. I feel like all these creative juices and energy flowing is like really like the ultimate turning point for you. This is like your awakening, <laughs> the awakening. And it's so funny how this is the 12, which is the one plus two plus three is three. And I was actually recently just told that three is a number for change. It's really cool. My age is actually 33, master number 33. I love threes, if you couldn't tell. Um, but you're in this balanced state of awakening and awareness, okay? And especially this month, it's like, yes, you're changing the way you're looking at a specific situation and therefore that specific situation changes around you because of your perception of it. Okay, and you're embracing your uniqueness. I see a lot of you really embracing your uniqueness, which is so exciting and it's important. And I see maybe a temporary pause in the action while you're learning to get all your thoughts together and organized and that's okay. It's okay to take breaks and it's okay to recenter. It's okay to take time for you to meditate and to really gain alignment and center for yourself before proceeding into a whole new way of being or a whole new way of expressing yourself. It's okay to do that. It's okay to recenter. And then ask for help from others. Woo! Ask for help from others. So it's saying all work and no play, being weighed down by too many responsibilities. So it's really asking you, okay, hey, like, can you do this for me? Can you do that for me? And like not feeling guilty about it. Like really just like asking. Asking, 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 asking until someone comes and helps you. But you have to need, you need some help somewhere. And I feel like someone will come in and this is divinely gifted to you because of all the good work that you've been doing and all the amazing service that you've been providing out into the world. And so I do see some help coming this month, but you do have to ask for it, okay? And don't feel bad about that um, because you are just, you're weighed down by too many responsibilities. Call upon your beans of light, your light beans when you're you're going to check in you're feeling overwhelmed call upon them and be like hey like I need a break like I, I or I just I need some assistance here and here and here and write it down or ask it out loud to the universe and ask it in the 3d to the people that can provide that assistance for you and I promise they'll want to help you okay so please make sure you're asking for help especially if you're feeling these energies of overwhelm this also has been a common theme <laughs> for the energies that I've been picking up we have nine of spring. We have nine of spring and this says protect the fruits of your labors. So I feel like a lot of you, because we've been, depending on where you live, some of us perhaps have been cut off from nature. If you're able to get outside though, get outside like as much as you can, get that vitamin D from the sun. Um, if it's too cold and it's awful, um, at least look outside, at least, <laughs> you know, let the sun come through your window and shine on your face and get some of that vitamin D like as much as you can. Um, and connect with the nature outside, even if it's from indoors. Cause I know like where I live right now, it's tremendously cold outside. There's snow everywhere. It's like, you, you just, you just got to do what you can. And so to like look outside, look at the birds, look at the trees, communicate telepathically back with one another, see what you can exchange with each other. Um, but really connecting with nature again is like really, really, really important. Um, prepare for possible challenges that could lie ahead and this is not to scare you, it's just simply to get prepared, get organized and to save things that are important to you, keep them in, protected in safe places, um, things like that, make copies of things that you perhaps are working on or were printing out. And it also says environmental conservation. So you might really be getting into this. Like for me, I just, I, I've been trying to incorporate more vegan meals and trying to get back to it. I might actually do HelloFresh again. I'm not sure because I really, I, I slid off the bandwagon there and I really want to get back to my health. And I feel like a lot of you are becoming more aware, like, hey, like I need to take care of my physical vessel, my physical being, because I'm a starseed and I'm here to anchor in this light and this frequency. And I cannot do so unless I'm taking care of myself first. So really putting yourselves first, getting that vitamin D, connecting with nature, really eating like really good foods for you as much as you can, or at least implement more good foods, such as like greens and fruits and vegetables and, um, you know, like quinoa and, and beans and <laughs> all that good stuff. Uh, and I know like a lot of us, 
as star seeds also need to eat more like rooted um, root chakra <laughs> vegetables such as like potatoes and carrots and um, beets, things from the ground that are rooted in Mother Earth. I feel like that will be really, really beneficial for a lot of you. Um, perhaps becoming more aware of environment and Mother Earth and maybe not not using plastic anymore. Maybe I just invested in a glass water bottle um, that has like the crystal in it so I can crystal charge my water. So that might be something that you're going to be doing as well, like really investing in things to help with Mother Guy and Mother Earth. This is something that I really encourage. Maybe perhaps carrying like a bag with you for your groceries as opposed to using the plastic bags in the store. Things like that. I, I see a lot of you becoming more focused on environmental conservation, just doing things more more friendly, like earth friendly, because I'm we need to get back to that. We need to do that. Um I wanna pull I do wanna pull one star seed one star seed card and then this will complete your reading. I'm I'm feel like light language probably wants to come through here. Okay, so a lot of like heart, um, chakra emanations being emanating out working with the color green the color pink and the color white um, pure white for pure cleansing of your your chakras and your auras the sun is so beautiful right now I wish I could show you guys the sunset is gorgeous it's just like the sun is just peering through the window right now and it's just it looks just like gold like like liquid gold light Work with liquid gold light. <laughs> That's really gonna help you. Work with more um, conducting metals as well. I just got this like uh, copper ring that I really, really like. I think it's really, really interesting and really cool. It's handmade, I think it's beautiful. And I think if you work with like these metals that are like really good for your electric body and conductors, um, that goes along with your heart. Like. It, it's just it's really gonna help so anything that you come across that you're drawn to as far as like a conductor conducting metal I know copper is a really great one um, monatomic gold they say is really really good monatomic gold man look into that the last card that I got for you is all paths lead home and this is inner authority intuition turn your gaze within so anytime that um, perhaps you're, you're kind of looking outside of yourself. Make sure you're bringing it back to center. Make sure you're bringing it back to inner awareness. Make sure you're bringing it back to you. Turning your gaze within, following your intuition and your inner authority and really stepping into this goddess slash God level where you are so sure of yourself and the relationship that you have with your higher self is as one and there's no coming between that. Like nothing outside of you can come between this. And it's letting you know that no matter what creative path you choose, all these paths are leading home. So no matter what pillar of frequency you choose, all of these are helping to guide you back home. They all lead home. And home is where the heart is, right? So, and I wanted to let you guys know that I still have 10% going on right now for the Starseed Origins readings and the personal readings. So if you do purchase a one hour Starseed Origins or personal reading, you do get a free, you do get a free timeless reading of your choosing. And those are all one hour and any of those that you're drawn to, you get to pick. And then also, if you purchase a two-hour personal reading or Starseed Origins reading with me, you get two personal timeless readings for free and a free energy signature drawing. So I literally channel your energy, I put it into a photo, and it's yours to keep. So that will be very beneficial for you because it will provide you a lot of light codes that you're needing at this time, especially during the month of February. So 
Um, I just want to let you guys know if you're interested in that, you just want to browse my readings or you're interested in timeless readings, they're all available in the description box below is my Etsy link. Um, they're all available there. So lots of fun stuff on there, lots of different diverse things and all the all the good stuff's in there. So definitely browse it and see what you're drawn to. Whatever you're drawn to will be meant for you at this moment in time. So I love you all so much. This completes your reading, Palladians. I love you. Thank you for listening in. Thank you for watching. And I cannot wait to see what you express and create this month. It's really exciting. I love you all so very much. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. And until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Bye, guys.